So then I wonder if, if, if you know, Generation of the Times could have an impact. If you were to create Ed Grimley today, what, what, would he be the same character? Well, I, I probably, because I, I didn't know why he was funny then. Do you know what I mean? Really, I mean, it was that kind of... When I was creating Ed Grimley, I was, I was doing this piece in Second City stage with Catherine O'Hara and Peter Aykroyd, brother of Danny, and uh, it was called Sexist, and it was two people applying for the one job, one woman wildly qualified, uh, masters and everything, and Ed Grimley worked at Alice. That's a very nice gas station with a car wash on the side. And, but he just kind of looked, you know, like my hair and his kind of the shirt. And then, um, but I used to grease it a little bit at the front, and Peter Ackroyd said, boy, your hair's getting taller every performance. <laughs> so as a joke, I put it right into a point, walked out, the audience laughed, and I thought, hmm, <laughs> isn't that what, what I'm trying to accomplish anyway? I guess I'll leave the hair. And then I said later, oh, it's an abstract, because I was just making it up. <laughs> so I, I think that a, a lot of times you, you do things you get into a character or a type of person and if you play it sincerely without trying to be funny sometimes it can be funny